Hey guys, how's everyone doing? So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you how to practice your Garudasana or the Eagle Poster. So it's a yoga poster that uh, you can practice uh, to like compact your thoughts and bring them together to concentrate yourself. It creates a sort of a mental like pull within yourself and centralizes your whole thoughts and the objectives that are scattered around your head and that you want to bring together, right? So first of all, so you have to intertwin your uh, legs, you see, and bring your knees close together. And so if the left leg is above, the left hand has to be above the right hand. Okay, and you just stay in this position as much as you can. You can also go down and uh, so lean on your upper knee, keep your balance and keep it and breathe. With every breath, inhale and while exhaling you feel like you're concentrating your thoughts. You're concentrating within the sensation is gonna you're gonna feel the stretch over here, like within your hip. It's very important to play with the balance uh, of the, uh, the foot you're leaning on, the main one, the one which you're standing on. So it will go, the balance between, will go between your toes and your heel. It's up to your sensations, up to your instinct to be able to play with this balance. Now, um, an equivalent that you can practice on the chair. Remember when you were sit you used to sit at a class board sometimes. So it's basically this poster, you see. And now what you have to do, you see, you have to bring this together. It's like when you want to go to the toilet sometimes, you know. Only that see, this leg should be. So you're kind of like. In order to be able to do this position, you first intertwin and then you feel like you're kind of like leaning on this like uh, hip and then you place it you bring it like up in front to the front the front and when you bring it to the front so this leg you feel the stretch over here right and the stretch over here so watch out for your knee don't twist it too much this um but you're engaging the knees a lot which is so it's important to to balance the pain. There's something called healthy pain, there's something called unhealthy pain. So we're like this. The hip is going right there and we're gonna replace it. Replace it and just try to now push with the knee over here. So your knee, you see it here? It's gonna push inwards, 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 inwards. And when it's gonna push inwards, it's gonna replace this front leg. So push, push, push. This head leg is gonna head inwards. This leg also inwards. So it creates this boom. Visualize it. It's like two legs are like this and they bring themselves together. Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> bring themselves together over here. And keep it. You can try to stand actually if you're sitting. So you're sitting and you're gonna use your glutes, your lower glutes, the glutes of the um, leg that, uh, that you will be leaning on up and create a sort of a squat. And so my right leg is above, right hand above the last one and you're gonna lean. And you can go up. And you stay, you stay, you stay. You stay, you stay. And you bring your pelvis. You squeeze your glutes. You centralize your body. Your uh, shoulders go down. You press with your elbows downwards in order for your shoulders to go upwards. And you look in front of you. You can look at this finger. And then slowly, 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 you up. You practice releasing your hands first. Going down slightly and then slowly you practice controlling, releasing your legs. 
it's like your thoughts some thoughts need to be some thoughts and some anger needs to be controlled sometimes not to hurt yourself if you're doing this it means your thoughts you're trying to you're trying to squeeze something to control something and a sort of an unhealthy and very too spontaneous way so sometimes it's important to get out of the situation or to get out of this emotion in a healthy way it's like when you want to overeat sometimes for example you're controlling yourself you're controlling yourself you're controlling yourself and then out of a sudden you fell you fall and you feel like you lost your control this is also a practice for those suffering from any compulsive addiction that they're dealing with you're here you unveil yourself, you breathe through it. Breathe, 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 slowly, 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 slowly. It might, it's not gonna come straight away. It's normal. You can use a chair to lean beside you and you will be uh, like you're releasing your hands, for example, you're falling. And then your legs, you try to find the sensation. You bring your stomach inward as if somebody wanted to punch you, pelvis uh, forward glutes slightly contracted. When you contract your glutes, it's up, it automatically pushes your leg. And go up, pelvis inside. And I hope you enjoyed this video and that it will help you um, for this poster. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.